the messenger bunch. I know you like that one. It's going to be one billion no man sky gun. It's got to be. Let's rotate it. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. One thing that I do every single time I stream. Somehow never care where there it is. Got it. Okay. Guess I never stopped playing this game. Also, your dad sounds like awesome. From engineer to gunsmith. Seems like a fictional character. I like one of the good ones. Do you do a spot of engineering, don't you, Punch? I feel like that would be your, your background. Alright. So here we are. Yes, guy. We are on Sekiro. And also, here's the problem. I think I'm not sure I'm supposed to be doing right now. I want to go and get this flower. I think that's going to require me to do a few things. An engineer is of the spirit. Oh. Huh. Ouch. This is not how I want to start a stream. You know what I mean? I didn't, didn't have to go that way, buddy. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see, what was the comment juiced? It did look a lot like Valdo. Huh. I don't see anything that got deleted. Juiced. Thanks, McKing. I don't know why I managed to get that guy, but it looks like if you block a flurry of attacks with proper parries, you can do a lot of posture damage. That's weird, Juiced. Yeah, it didn't even give me an option to, like, filter it. <laughs> it must be wild in English or something. Amber colored Grange, I've got that. And a prayer bead. I'll accept that. We got three of them, so we only need one more before we can upgrade that posture again. Let's grab Magentite. The large fan. Large fan made of dyed red Japanese Auralia leaves. Can be fit to the Shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. Banning it creases, creates a large vortex of wind, spiriting away those it catches. Divine abduction through an eight-handed fan. Once is fine, but twice and you'll never return. If abducted, we'll head to Mount Congo. At Simpo Tempo, we'll perform virtuous deeds. That is a really cool tool tip. I, kinda, I like the way it is. I mean, just a moment here, I need to adjust the brightness of my webcam as we are approaching the more daylight hours here. But yeah, I legitimately am not certain what I'm actually going to be doing next in this game right now. So hopefully in the time that it takes me to, <laughs> to update this, I'll figure that out. Yeah, it really is Kirito. Like, it, it is, the item description is just very cool. Like the divine abduction through an eight-handed fan. Once is fine, but twice, and you'll never return. If abducted, while well, I head to Mount Congo. At Sinpo Temple, we'll perform virtuous deeds. That's, that's just cool. Oops. Oh, wait. Why can't I go down here? Loot. Or yellow gunpowder. I probably should start considering how I'm going to upgrade my prosthetics. I don't think I've touched any upgrades this entire playthrough. 
So far, beating the horse rider and butterflies, major bosses. Oh yeah, you killed the butterfly. A lot of people have a really hard time with the, the butterfly, from my understanding. I got through it pretty easily, but I think it's just because they're style. Oh, cheese there. I don't even know the cheese strats for a uh, butterfly. Hmm? Oh. Oh, this is all bad. Snake! Can I just slide to the side here? Nope. That was a fun way. That went great. The tutorial boss. Well, you know, Kirito, like, I think that that, as long as you keep playing the game that they the way they want you to play it, your progression through the bosses will be in line with your skill, you know, increase. So, basically, when you beat that boss, you'll be good enough to continue on <laughs> as long as you don't end up cheesing it. Too bad. It was fun. We had a fight in here. It was neat. Everybody had a great time. We went to this bridge and everybody had a real bad time. I grab that. Nope. I missed an opportunity to grab something. Uh oh. There's Zelda news alert. What's the news, Punch? Parrots just take practice, Mr. Jarbergy. I believe in you. If you're still here, McKing, how far have you got in Sekiro? I feel like there was uh, something to hang on to that I passed when I was falling. Ah, nice. So neat. I didn't. I have not defeated Headless, who I've run into. I think I need to. Hmm. Monolith. Hmm. Monolith. That's who did Xenoblade Chronicles. Or am I going crazy? Yeah, Xenoblade. Nope. Wrong direction. Oh, come on. What a bloke. Yeah, so they, they did the Breath of the Wild, didn't they? I think they what they helped with the open world aspect of it. The Xenoblade Chronicles did some... Chronicles X did some good stuff. That's what it is. That's going to be cool. So another Zelda game already. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Nope, just kill me. That's not, that's not what I wanted to do. Let it end. I wonder if I can somehow jump off and do a plunging strike onto that snake. But I can't seem to get a lock on it, but maybe if I get close enough. So much unseen aid because I carried the dragon rod. Dragon rat.
Okay. What? So apparently that bridge is like not even walkable at all. That's real fall off a ball. Yeah, that's very true. I just mean, because I still feel like Breath of the Wild didn't come out that long ago, but it, it totally must have, right? Like, that's been two years. It wasn't 2018. That'd be 2017. 16? So I think it came up between that transition between the, the Wii U and the Switch. Yeah, 17. And let's just try running and jumping. We'll see what happens. Oh, it moved. Okay, that's not that's not that's not it. We'll try going down the slow way. Wait, there's so many games I really feel like they need to just re-release on the Switch that came out during that good part of the Wii U. Since only I bought the Wii U, like I'm the only person with a physical Wii U in the world, apparently. Me and I think Punch, probably. Only two people that bought Wii U's. Could have probably just did that thing, but oh well, this is life. So the way I want to go is that way. I'll say this me punching Mr. JRPG. <laughs> That's funny. That's the only time I've uh, way I've played that Mario Kart as well. Like I didn't, I've not played Mario Kart on the Switch at all. We have seen the snake. It was earlier, and it and it hurt me then, and it looks like it wants to hurt me now. It's the same, like. What must be like, I guess, the world serpent type of cat. You did the right thing, Kirito. Let's be honest. But I mean, I, I love my Wii U. A lot of the things I really enjoy on that platform, they just re-released. Like, I really liked Child of Light. I thought that game was excellent, but that came out on everything after that. <laughs> That's how it be. It just be like that. Yeah, it came out for PC, for Vita, for PS4, out for PS3. <laughs> yeah, I thought, and the music is amazing. Like, I listened to that music for. Get out of here, monkey! Like, I listen to that music for fun on my own time. What a world this is. Look how big you can see there go there. But like it's like you actually want to go there, unlike in Skyrim where you go there and you're like neat. A weapon still hits, barely. As everything's scaling. Yeah. But I'm I'm glad that it did. I, I think that game deserved a lot of exposure. A lot of opportunities for people to play it. Hmm. Do you have secrets here, monkey? I fell right between two of them. Huh? I deserve that death. I did not come prepared for that particular scenario. Ouch, why did they give monkeys guns? Mm. 
Okay. Yep. Keep moving. <laughs> I can hear them coming. Oh. There we go. This is what we needed. Everything is fine now. Ah, uh, yeah. So there's this monkey. And there's this lady. Roots of the Serpent. One is fresh, the other is dried. The dried fruit is over there. Past this poison swamp, town the nest. Past the poison moss. Was in swamp. Nest. I have rice. I got rice here. Got some rice. Munch, munch, munch. Classic munchin. I really wish I never got rid of my Neo Geo pocket color. <laughs> Just chew on that hard uncooked rice. Make the monkey dance. Yum, yum, yum. Crunch, crunch, crunch. As dry fruit you're after, become a trainer of monkeys. Make the monkeys dance and he'll be. Make a monkey dance and he'll be eaten. I'm looking for the dried fruit. Cause I know that's a boss. I, I don't I don't got that. I don't got it right now for that particular boss. I guess maybe I have to do both. I don't know. But it makes it seem like there's an or option, so let's So let's just see what happens if we go this way. Video game, preserve me! It didn't. It didn't preserve me. One more again. Let's just go ahead and do this. Oh, Stuzi, I'm sorry. I just saw that you subscribed. I really appreciate that. I'm so behind. I really apologize for that. Thank you so much. We're still around. I'll send you a message later. And appreciate you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Poor streamer. F out of F streaming. I wonder if it must maybe happen when I was uh, showing that Borderlands. But ah, yes. I gotta get my notifications on point. Okay, so. Huh? Oh, there it is. But yeah, I'll, I'll send a message to Stuzy later and hopefully. They're cool. Oh, man. Okay. That's gonna be all poison. I do have something for this, though. I got the remedy for this one. Juiced. But. No, you didn't have to do that. 
No way. You're far too gone, my friend. Oh, no, Susie. You deserve it. And thank you, Juice, for stepping up to tier two. My question. Well, I guess it's because Juice was also the last subscriber. <laughs> I'm actually going to add another tier one emote because now. Because now I can get two of them. Well, yes, as of like yesterday. Ah, yes. But thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate that. I'm going to use that as like ammunition to make more cool stuff that we can all enjoy hopefully so thank you and of course mckeng ah yes is run d beer ah yes <laughs> thanks mr jrpg and who's my favorite boss this is the bull it's the bull boss isn't it i hate that boss so we're gonna need to go ahead and not pacifying what's the one that is it dousing powder? Not no. I feel like I have a thing that gives me a light level. Contact. Is that what it's called? Contact? Poison, maybe? <laughs> no, Corey, you're just fine. Thank you. Like I said, it's never ever mandatory to subscribe. I'm not gonna be like gotta be subscribed to do this thing. It's really cool and I really appreciate it, but we're all friends the same regardless of your subscription status. I'm just glad I get to hang out with people and play these games and chat. And I really wish I had some contact stuff so I could get poison instead of just being wildly poisoned like, like, like what's going to happen here. So we got path this way, path that way. This one has loot. Oh, hi poison. Hi. Hello. Can I get back in time? No. Okay. That's like a staple, right? Like, no matter what. Well, we do have this area underground. What if it was a poison swamp? Yes. Thank you. Air, hello. How's it going? We're doing well over here. No, no, stop. Okay. Okay. Nope. This ain't it. Alright. Go over this way. I see you, man. I see you. You got two swords, buddy. A fatty liver? Are you talking about an item in this game? Okay, nice flurry. I'm gonna run away from you now before I get poisoned to death. Alright, buddy. Like refuse to die. There we go. It's weird. Does your liver side ever feel swollen? Oh, huh. <laughs> that's a that's a really random coincidence. I'm glad I'm glad that it happened this way. That. This is here to provide sight. But don't let the friendship train be your medical train. <laughs> the friendship train is not your medical practitioner. Oh, um, uh, 
What do we got over there? It's not very green. Oh, yeah, that'll... You might need to pull that stoozy and start making sure you get a bunch of water in you as well. Going stoozy, drinking way too much water. How to purchase an offering. Cough hack. Let me buy an offering. Okay. So I we don't have anything else I want here. I'll use this. Green mossy gourd, a curved moss gourd filled with medicinal waters, refills upon rest. While it does not heal poison stats, it reduces poison buildup and increases poison resistance. This gourd was made out of necessity by those that made poisonous lands their home. It is said if you live long enough, eventually poison won't affect you at all. She's so cool. <laughs> You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to invest in that. I got a bulging coin purse. Still sounds like I'm saying ball bag. Pull this too. Ball out. I'm <laughs> like, dude, relax. Yeah, you gotta be careful with your health. Even when you're, you know, being conservative financially, it can be very expensive to take care of your health. So sometimes, would make that tough investment. But I know when things are tough, it's you just gotta do what you gotta do. Unfortunately, at times, give me that dragon's blood droplet. Antidote power, powder. How many do I have? I have five and eight storage. Should probably get more of that because the obvious reason that there's infinite amounts of it around me right now. Yep, use up all your money. No point in having it. It's not like I have to pay insurance claims in this game. It's like, well, I have money. So this is literally exactly as far as I've gotten in my personal save. So I don't know what's going on here for sure. Hmm. Yes, hi. Everybody, hold on to your butts. I'm looking for a replacement for broccoli. What? It really? Because broccoli smells like farts, but I also like broccoli a lot. None of my coworkers like me to eat broccoli. I wonder if I can meet Kiri that can pull you from the unknown and kill you again. Yeah, bread. Very calorically dense, but not generally not very nutritious. Hmm. So, hi, Snake. So you're just here, huh? This is your body. <laughs> That's that good to hear, Juiced. Let's see if I can Mikuri these things. I'm going to try to do that. Oh, that's a grab. Uh, you know what? F these guys. Can scale the wall and bridge this gap soon enough. Probably scale this wall. <laughs> cats, it just be like that with cats, from my understanding. It be like that. 
it's funny, like, I can see that I'm about to get attacked on both sides right now. As I'm just, like, casually freezing in time looking at this pellet that I've seen a million times. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like that, Stacy. I like that quite a bit. Didn't like that, what happened to me, but I like that. Uh, this whole area is problematic. The whole bunny thing, that, that always makes me laugh. Not the whole thing I wanted, I wanted that. Oh, oh I hate you. This will vash. Why? Leave me alone. So I'm definitely poisoned. I was I can can confirm death poisoned. That is a really big bunny. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot happening in the bunny scene. So here's the question. I'm here, I'm with this snake. That's a problem. I got that. I get that. But... What am I doing with this snake? Which... Nope. Mm -mm. Maybe I should hit the snake? That seems bad form. I've used all my healing gourd, so I guess it really doesn't matter at this point, does it? So I do just live this. Oh my gosh! Leave me alone. Things in the wall. Just let me live. That's right. Just gotta murder this big, dangerous snake. It's not gonna get mad. So, okay, let's get reoriented here. We came in this way, or we. We came in on this side. I need to go forward to progress this way. Let's keep going. As a snake does this stuff. Move. Just unleashing poison, just real super casual. Keep running. There's an option for me to grab something. Right across sides here. Okay. All right. Oh, son of a! I hate you. <laughs> you know, I think you may be right though. But we'll say that the dragon in trails was very large yes but this is very long so I think this dragon couldn't possibly eat the, the snake couldn't eat the whole dragon in one bite right like I'm thinking the dragon was at least as big from here to like there oh well. oh great see like what am I doing with this like, what, what am I going to do? Yeah, I think the snake could definitely kill the dragon. 
That dragon was very slow with its charge attacks. I mean, I hope it is. But I don't know if this dragon's gonna be is necessarily here for that particular course of action. It's like definitely protecting this house. I mean, it's, it's just looking at me, right? Like, there's no way. I can't even lock onto this thing. There's a path over there, and that looks like death. This thing's about to have a small Sekiro for... There's a monkey over there. Can I get over there? Not like a good snack, like a beautiful person. Pizza is good though. Where did I appear? Running backwards, did the snake unfurl its body this way because I got so far forward? I'm a little disoriented. I think I'm heading backwards, maybe. Hey. <laughs> No, definitely not. You can talk about anything. It's like talk about whatever. This is where this is the place to do that. Chat about whatever comes to mind. This is the chill zone. The chill zone. You know, that actually reminds me, like, back in my heavy, heavy drinking days, I had to have an upper and lower endoscopy. Because, like, because of, like, oil buildup or something like that. I can't really remember. Look at you, light body. Light body air. I feel like... I need to get to there. Very true. Well, I deserve that. I did. I did have oily poops. What happened? I drank heaps of liquor. A lot, a long time, then my poop started getting really oily. I think the doctor, like, you should stop drinking so much. And I decided to disagree with them. I kept doing it for a materially long amount of time. Uh, uh, let's see. Is that really the last one I found? Riven Cave. Somehow that's... Yeah, I was like, here's some oily poops. I'm like, well, that's concerning. The poop shouldn't be like that. Nope. Wrong way, champ. I guess I should have believed myself. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's just let's just teleport. But yeah, really, like, I found, like, a lot of my physical issues and maladies were in brew when I quit drinking alcohol. 
I wouldn't suggest that for everybody, but it definitely worked for me. My life has improved quite a bit. I made friends like you guys. Hi. Okay, so let's go back down here. I'm I have to be missing um <laughs> I have to be missing something. There it is. I'm glad Sekiro's got that prosthetic arm, which is what I'll use to explain why what he we just did didn't kill him. Oh man, eh. You gotta eat. Hey! <laughs> She's coming in hot with hot tips. 2019 off the press tips. I don't want to go down this way. I want to go down that way. Well, let's see. Is there no nothing? Okay, that's fine. I have the opposite problem. I remember too frequently to eat. I'm like, I remember I should eat now. I remember again. I'm still remembering. You. Nope, not this time. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry guys, I'll remember for you to eat. That's part of the reason why I have to like work out. I'm like, I like to eat food too much. That's ex I mean, Stuzy, like that's really my move. All right, air. Hey, be careful. Careful out in these dangerous streets, but take care of that body. I only get one. One I heard. I bet. Probably. Beware the egg, indeed. <laughs> That's a lot of eggs. <laughs> when you come back, you better. If I'm, this thing's not dead, you better tell me how to kill it by the time you come back. <laughs> so I can't. I can't jump out that way. That's not going to help me. I want to get to that monkey over there, but I don't know if I can make that jump. So there's definitely a grapple around that corner edge there. The food alarm. <laughs> I have that classic hunger alarm <laughs> called food. I'll probably take this to Emma before she can, um, be the poison gourd. And I did buy that, right? Whatever. I think it's very good. There's a lot of, you might find that I'm, I, I'm more than above average interested in proper digestion, so. Tea be good for making you poo. And, um, but yeah, I was mentioning, like, if there's a vegetable that's, like, better than broccoli, or equal, like, relatively similarly nutritious to broccoli, but doesn't smell like farts, like, I'm really interested in that. <laughs> like, cauliflower, it might be a good candidate, but also smells like farts. Oh, yeah, spinach, that's a good idea. It might be. It might be a move, actually. That might be a bop. Oh, not close enough. Uh. What video game? What do you want me to do? And, uh, 
No, I mean, I'm going to be able to get protein from good other sources. So, yeah, not that part, but the not smelling of farts, and I think you're right, spinach will be good. Um, even cooked spinach probably can be okay. But I don't want to cook it too much, obviously. Swiss shard. Swiss shard. I don't think I know what that is. It turned around again. I bet I did. Anybody know how to, what to do with this dragon or snake? Whatever this terrible thing is. I'm okay with input at this point. Ah, I think I spinach. I need to check that out then. Yeah, I'll definitely check that out. Because that might be it. Like, the thing with spinach is that I would need, like, a ton of it. Thank you, Kirito. Yeah, that's what I, see, that's the world I want to live in, Stuzi. Like, I want the tons of vegetables. Like, I need, I need that. Because again, loving good digestion. And it's, you know, filling and usually calorically efficient along with nutritious. I really like vegetables. 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 So can I just fall off the ledge and grab it? I feel like... Anybody got any tips here? Oh, cool. Egg rolls or spring rolls even I'll take. Really? Yeah, see, like, I... We need to trade. Oh, sigh. Thank you. Beast. The snake is probably undead and dead again, but still somehow a challenge. What do you want from a video game? Hmm. What do I have that will be able to make this situation reasonable? I'm looking for I know none of this is going to help. It's probably like the Earth Serpent. World Serpent. So yeah, it's just one shot. I, think. I probably want to get to like... <laughs> Ouroboros reference two games in a row. Or let's see, the World Serpent or Nidhogg. Do I need to look up how to beat this boss or this thing? Um. Hmm. So this sucks. I guess is the words I want to use. Sucks. <laughs> guess we just have to figure out a different way. I mean, whatever I'm doing right now isn't working. We can verify that. So the instructions that we received are... Maybe Nidhogg is a dragon, but when I think of Nidhogg, I only think of the game, the indie game Nidhogg. That, um, you know, at the end, you go and run across. Oh, no, that's, like, crucial. I think I'm very professional eating the meat. The meat people. I guess the vegetable people that I definitely need the most insight into. So I really appreciate that. Yeah, I was mixing in all kinds of different stuff. What's going on over there? 
Maybe this man, this thing will help. I said, make the monkey dance in something or other. So these are monkeys. Hello, buddy. Ow, ow, jeez. There's so many of them. Yeah, they gave us a clue about the dried one and the snake. Hmm. Orbor's Gaelic. Seems like a punch question. <laughs> well, fruits. Maybe I can... Yeah, I mean, there's some really interesting enemy variety called. I appreciate it. Don't turn this way. <laughs> Before I can put down my sandwich. So I just did the same exact thing again. Not once, but twice. Not what this is. Scrap. <laughs> <laughs> it's petting zoo time. <laughs> they're gonna definitely they're they're throwing their poopy at me now. Uh, uh, move. Oh, is that the uh is that a, a tutorial bro? Snake passing. <laughs> No, I want to do it the most challenging way possible, where you just have to like try to like communicate it through to me through stream. <laughs> That's the way we have to do this. This is how this works, right? Like you're streaming, and then the person in the stream tries their best to explain to you while I poorly understand what you mean, and then it takes a way long time, and everybody's real disappointed. Because I feel like that's that's the move. <laughs> so tell me, what do I do to the snake? <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Fine. Uh, don't help me. I'll look it up. Pause. I'll make it to where everybody can see it. Oh. Well, then there you go. You're helping me. You're the best. I didn't want to watch that. Or turn that on while everyone was watching. To the left of the column, there was... Because there is a, there's the monkey down there. And I think I need to pup it. See, the sandwich is, uh, sandwiches are the problem punch. They're slowing, you're slowing your responses. Because I see the monkey down there, and I'm thinking I'm gonna like grab it and puppet it, but I can't seem to get to it. That's why I kept jumping off the ledge, because I could see there's a grapple point, but that's not how this works. Nope. Underneath. Oh, poison. So at least I know I can be curie that thing. Thank you for looking that up, you guys. Or looking it upside. So here, so like, don't just jump down. It's like straight down. Oh wait, there is ground there, isn't there? 
Ah. <laughs> I'm so glad there was ground underneath me. I totally missed time that jump. Uh, hey, buddy. I'm just gonna pump at you like a. Do I get it to follow me? Can I do a thing on its own? Oh! Ah! I got it. Dried Serpent Viscera. Dried Persimmon? Persimmon, like heart of a great serpent. Thank you. Well, it looks like, it's like a persimmon in the fact this is the red viscer of a god. Apparently, the denizens, denizens of the Sangha Valley worship the organs, believing they represent the deity itself. Why do I want that, though? Is the thing. <laughs> Kirito. <laughs> Must be delicious. <laughs> Okay, so this is a situation. Let's look around down before I... <laughs> Sounds great. I would definitely eat that. I don't actually, you know, that sounds gross. The word viscera in any meal sounds like something I'm not interested in. Okay. So we're not looking at other options as to getting out of this room. Let's see if I can see anything up. There we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. Divine confetti. This way. Shadow. I'm doing all right. We're making things happen, but. Oh, don't tell me that's all this is. Sure is. Just a loop around. It's pretty good. I'm really enjoying this game. <laughs> Gerald will be pleased. Have you been, Shadow? So that's not the answer to the question. <laughs> I don't even know I'm in here. <laughs> yeah, that's... I think they want me to teleport out of here is what they're basically going to do. Hey, you know what? I'll oblige. Yeah, me and this snake are not going to have a, a good time with a 1v1. It moves very quickly. It does kind of look like that, doesn't it? Oh, man. I sure hope that that's not the case, though. Because then that means I have to do the thing I just did all over again. I'll talk to this lady about the dried fruit. Yeah. Same thing. So, do I just eat it? Is it a key item? Uh, well, Mr. Person is in fact red viscera of God. Apparently, the Nizan is a sunken valley where the organs believe they represent the deity itself. Why do I want that thing? Uh, wow. Now I have to go back down there just to make sure and get past the snake again to make sure that uh, 
or to see if it really was doing damage. Ooh, I'm an old man doing a jump. No, you don't see anything. You're fine. As I used to say to my friends, or my brother, I should say, back when uh, I was younger, after a particularly traumatizing death or setback, at least you know what to do. So, here, after all this danger we've gone through this thing, at least I know what to do. Don't know what happened right there. How I ended up where I was, but whatever. You mean completely nonsensical? Citizen, thank you for the raid. How are you doing, my dear friend? How's your stream? Well, well, well. What's new? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you guys, I mean, like, Hatsune Miku is going to tear you guys apart. I really appreciate you, Citizen. Thank you so much for the raid. Okay. Okay, punch might be on to something here. Maybe not. Maybe so. But maybe. Maybe I just need to hit harder. I mean, maybe not. No, this is how I like to fight. <laughs> Close the room where they can't touch me. Oh, I definitely can't get out. I wonder if I can just like push my body against it. Now. Yep, plink them down, just blink. That's how I take care of Dark Souls in a lot of time <laughs> early on. Yeah, this ain't this ain't it, Chief. Thank you for the bit, Stardust. Thank you so much. How are you doing this morning? Hello, good morning. You think? Still you think there's plenty of space there? I gotta disagree. <laughs> Yeah, that's not it. Okay, let's teleport back to the thing with Jigger. And let's just try to identify what it is that we even have this. Well, we even have this Isra. That's a real question here. Where, what can I do with this viscera? Ooh, that viscera. Sweet, sweet viscera. So I could approach this thing, this guy. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Citizen, you're not interested in that sweet viscera? 
Yeah, I got the me. I got the fruit. Oh, so All right. Well, have <laughs> a viscera barbecue. I don't need this belly there. I'm probably going to be interested in something that. Oh. 500 pounds of raw man. That makes takes me back to the good old days of when there was WWF wrestling and there was sexual chocolate and there was all those old boy wrestlers. Oh, come on. Left in the corner, but I'm going down. Oh, we're good. This guy's not my friend. I missed my grapple on him. What are you about to do, dude? <laughs> Great babe. Thrashing. <laughs> it's also got a, just a, a whole sword here, isn't it? Huh? Nope, too soon, Junior. I'd be my friend if I took this sword out of this might take a sword out of my head. Nope. Okay, buddy. What you gonna do? Thrashing near me, buddy. <laughs> Dark Souls boss. To go. It totally is that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I have fought this guy before, though, so I know this is not the end. Uh, 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 uh. I got you, buddy. <laughs> I say you make him very unfriendly. This is the most unfriendly he could possibly be. Oh, neat. So I got no more, no. Oh, oh, is that so punch? Is that what you think? A little odd. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, and where is it screwing from? Just his head hole? I think that's the key. There you go. Uh. I guess parry forever is the right answer. That one seems the most important. What are you going to do? Stop it. Oh, ran to the wall. I'm just casually drinking a drink. I hate that move. That's what I need him to do. Keep doing that move again, not the one where you hurt me real bad with your magics. Got it. Do that again. Just keep going. Magics. <laughs> Likes the crossovers. Okay, what are you going to do now, buddy? Stab. Okay, calm down. I don't, I don't know these moves. I don't know this move. Okay. Give me the big overhand. Nope. That one. That's the one I wanted. You did. Right? Oh, man. Thank you, memory of the guardian ape. The battle and memory of an extraordinary foe. Lingering in the mind of Wolf. Commune with the sculptor's idol and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. Guardian ape was defeated, though its roar can still be heard. It is said that an infested body marks the undying. And a slender finger. I don't know what this is. The slender finger of a young woman can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool. Found in the belly. <clears throat> 
found in the belly of the guardian ape. It is partially digested. There is a shinobi technique called a finger whistle that can drive beast wild. The one who used it before clearly used it for this purpose, as evidenced by the finger's open hole. Slender finger. Yep, <laughs> like purple. Just like. <laughs> yeah, just like a nice little finger whistle. You know, like everybody uses things. They're finger whistles. <laughs> Citizen strife trusted in the community. Well, really, I'm in his community. Let's see. Do I need to buy more of something? I got a finger whistle. Guardian Ape plus lose it. Use it. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe. Although distant recollection of such a memory provided sustenance for the wolf. They say that infest the body is the mark of the undying, but such a long life would surely be quite lonesome, even for an ape. Perhaps the echoing roar of the guardian ape was, in fact, solicitation of sorts. Neat. Wait, let's take a quick look around to make sure. Well, I'm, I'm sure I'm glad I didn't die, because I was like, well, that'd be unfortunate. <laughs> Because I've used a lot of stuff in that battle. But it looks like the key is just to make sure that you block his big attack. Because he totally crumples after you parry his big overhand. Single hand overhand. This is what we needed. This is why we came here. Lotus of the Palace. A white lotus flower found blooming in the depths of the dunk sunken valley. I almost said Duncan Valley. Where the fountain waters pool deeply. The flower. The flowers. The flower. The flowers are Roma Truck's female apes, thus the guardian ape carefully tended to it, so as to offer it to his bride. Oh, one of the incense ingredients sought by the divine heir for immortal severance. Well, that that was a real sad thing there, the thing we just read. But, well, let's go back to the dilapidated temple idol. We'll deal with a finger whistle and see what that is going to do. I gotta go to the Duncan Valley to get the, the get, to get my ice caramel mochiato and a dozen donuts. I'm bringing them home to my kids, okay? Now that's the real question, isn't it, Sai? Like, who did that? Who put the sword in that monkey's head to begin with? Why was it so chill about it being there? And there's like there's a lot of questions, you know. There's a lot of questions about the things that happen in this game. I'm looking forward to like watching a Vadi Vidya on this one where they exp he explains like everything and with his beautiful voice. Yep. Yep. I love him. <laughs> yeah, he's great. And he's a handsome dude. I've seen him. I think he one time showed did a face reveal. Good looking fella. But yeah, citizen, I, I gotta get like you. You're on the fitness. Bob, I can sense sit. Okay, got this. Devon Abduction. Never made that one. Finger whistle. Yeah, he streams now. That's good. I think everybody in the world is probably overweight at this point. That's all I can do. Let's give him this monkey booze. It burns the throat. <laughs> Way to go, Pudge. It's because you're tall, right? Yeah, <laughs> that didn't help. Castle. 
猿と変わらぬほどには動けるようになったが I'm relatively short. I'm only like five nine, five ten. How old? So let's see, what does this new item do for me? Hmm, sorry, Mario. Devon abduction. Cost spirit runs used, gathers and release the gust of wind, forcing enemies caught by the vortex to turn around. <laughs> Nothing on that side. It's a good height. It's a good height. Finger whistle. This is the real important. So that is just a finger, it looks like. Or 23. <laughs> Had to do some mental math on that one. <laughs> a prosthetic tool created by fitting a slender finger to the prosthetic. Cross cause spirit emblems to use. Its sound, its sound will grab an enemy's attention and draw them to the whistle's location. By locking onto a target, only the target enemy will hear the whistle. The sound of the finger whistle enrages beasts, making them unable to distinguish friend from foe. Oh, there you go, Mr. JRPG. Cool. No, no, I mean, height's one of those things you really can't control, so it, it like race, is just one of those things that, whatever. <laughs> Primary identifying characteristics that are just genetic exp uh, you know, expressions are just, just that. Mm, let's see. Finger whistle, divine abduction. Did I upgrade that? Didn't. I'm going to try to get ready. Ichimon. I think it's very odd that in this game. <laughs> That's very true, Sai. I think it's weird that you only use this thing once early on to do that section in the flashback. At least that's all I've done so far. So I, mean, I wonder if this idol has any other use. <laughs> it's all in low gravity planets. Ow. Mmm, prayer bead. I want another prayer bead. <laughs> the normalist around. Evixus, how's it going, my dear friend? Uh, we're... I'm just, like, wondering what I'm supposed to do now. I mean, I think I know, but... It might be, it might be hard stuff coming up for me. I just beat this mega monkey man. Well, he was not a man, he just was a monkey. So that was fun. Ichimon double. <laughs> Perfect for tank size, though, Kirito. I know that's advantageous. Mega Monkey Man. Acquire, so I acquired this combat art, Ichimonji Double. Adds a follow-up overhead sword trick to Ichimonji. Deals high posture damage and also recovers one's posture with a strong forward step. The follow attack is especially useful for pretending, preventing enemy <laughs> counterattacks. Ashina's Ichimonji is perfected with this follow-up strike. Sweet. Yeah, that's what we just fought and defeated Hivixus. It was uh it was challenging. Yeah, but we got it first try though. Oh well hey, what is what is this? Okay, so it looks like oh neat. Let's just go ahead and nope. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Thanks, Punch. <laughs> Gotta say, that was elaborate. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm like captivated by what they posted there at the same time. Like I'm looking, I'm like, there it is. Now you've, that's like the first time you've really had the opportunity to do that. Yeah. We ban both of them. Let me see. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. Stop beating. You, oh. Now this thing keeps blocking my chat. Move, chat thing. There you go. Yeah, right? That's some weird ones. A <laughs> punch. Not to him specifically, but in concept. Yeah, see? Punch, punch is always here. Punch here, ready for it. I don't have any, so no more of that. All right, so I guess I gotta go talk to Lord Kuro. <laughs> As they, what is that? What did they say now? It's a weird flex. <laughs> weird flex, but okay. <laughs> but thank you, Punch, for taking care of that. Sorry, you guys, for them dongs. Seems a sculpture dragon. Yep, we, we figured that out. Korsaki. That's serious business. I guess. Yeah, never. Right. <laughs> That's gonna be a rough one, Veo. Yeah, we already talked about this. の枝を倒り花をなくした床桜は<笑><笑> I don't need this. Let's talk to Lord Kuro. What else am I missing? Oh, we've already talked about this. We catch up, video game. Alright, here we go. Oh. It truly was blooming in the sunken valley. はい。落ち谷の奥に。そこが源の水の流れが濃い場所だったということか。よく手に入れてくれた。狼よ。ああ、そうだ。うん、アクチュアリ。私の方も。What'd you find, kid? Mm, actually. <laughs> Do we have plenty of his blood chilling? That's not a good thing. Oh. Ryuin's mikoto an old diary entry written in Takeru's page. Lord Takeru held his arm over the incense burn and attempted to cut it with the sword. But incredibly, his wound healed instantly, and a drop of his blood was shed. Lady Tamoe said, Without it, your blood cannot be spilled. What could she be referring to, I wonder? Without it, blood cannot be spilled. Incense. Oh, I can try. I love how they talk like they're just not right in the same room. I can... I can see her. She's right here. 
We'll have a chat. お主に尋ねたいことがある。はい。何でしょうか。ミコ様の血を流すすべだ。何故それを求めるのですか。戦況に龍の涙を手に入れ。不死立ちを果たす。そのためには、ミコ様の血がいるのだ。そうですか。確
Womp womp. <laughs> I appreciate you, Stacey. <laughs> I'm on a holy quest. This dude. I have not. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. We've already chatted. We've done this. Let's go. I'm again. Oh, jam on L2. All right, Mr. JRPG, thank you for hanging out today. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And if you're streaming late, I'm sure to catch it. I think you're socializing today. Nope. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, Mr. JRPG, then I'll definitely catch you later. RPG is doing double duty today. Hopefully, you guys throw up a follow. He plays a lot of the games that I really enjoy. JRPGs and super knowledgeable about them. Uh, let's see. This seems like I did the thing, the not the way you're supposed to do it. Uh, nope, this isn't it. This ain't it, Chief. Uh, so, maybe this way? I mean... Ah. Guess I should have looked in all the way around before I threw myself off a cliff. Word to the wise, don't jump off a cliff if you haven't looked in every direction. Yay. Here's a very familiar hole that we've already fallen into before. Wait a second. Am I going crazy here? I jumped to the bottomless well hole, right? I think I missed something. I think I out jumped my drop. Like, I think I missed where I'm going because I feel like this is not, this isn't it. Enemy attacks will be available with a well timed step dodge. I want to get this resolved before we run out of time. Okay, so throw yourself off the cliff. I did it. We're doing it. This is us. There's got to be something to grab onto, right? That was great. <laughs> okay. So here we are. For a second there, I thought I saw that snake. I was like, not today. So now we're back here. I guess this is another place maybe I could have grabbed on while I was falling. Yeah, it gotta be. This is back where we got stuck before. What was that dude that had that purple magic?
So this is where he fell originally. That's where he grabbed on, so we're cool there. <laughs> <laughs> Have that purple rain style magic. And such excellent guitar skills. Underrated guitarist. Yeah, this is definitely suboptimal. Same place. Correct. Four hours and 30 seconds. That means I'm running out of time. But I want to get... I want to at least get back to that dude who was doing the magic that I can't remember where it is anymore. Where is that hidden magic? Hidden magic, man. Where are you? If I fall down this hole again. I know what that's going to lead to. Oh, well, whatever. Let's just do it. Chocolate rain. Like the rain's quite good. <laughs> and back to the Ashina depths. Oh, let's just get to the things that's over here. Snake eyes. That's not you, is it? Is you? Didn't I fight someone that's like exactly the same guy already? Hmm. This probably isn't the best way to have this fight, is it? A statue? It is a statue. Okay. Gotta get there before we can do anything else. Chocolate rain. God, that's gonna be stuck in my head today. Way to go, Stuzy. Stuzzy, Stuzy, Stuzy. So they're just going to put me right back here. Um, Alright, let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay, there it is. Wait. Let's do this. Step one, let's do this. Step two, let's actually look at our enemies out here. So we got that boy. So yeah, there's not gonna let that happen. Yeah, we're gonna have to employ stealth for sure. Especially if I can rest this right right here. This right here, this stealth? We got it. I just have to remember where that bad guy is. So I don't stealth myself. Go. Oh. 
Why be a Martin for that? You don't see me. That guy sees me. Oh, wait, what? Is there another one of those guys in here? Whatever it is, it's really cramping the style right now. <laughs> A nice classic sniper sword. Not what I meant to do. So it looks like there's one up. Mm, there's one over there, there's one over here. I'm gonna die. So I need to look around a little bit more. Once we resolve this puzzle, we'll be moving on, but this is definitely like a puzzle. A stealth puzzle. A stuzzle. Fine, you're fine. You, you're the one. Ouch. You're the problem. Oh, nice shot. So I think they killed my buddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got two. It's a. Uh, it's definitely harder at outset than it is how do I die. It's definitely harder at outset than it is uh, continuing on. Once you get past the original, that, like the very first set of tutorial bosses, things like that, you kind of get the idea of okay, you know, you're not. It's not similar to Dark Souls and your actual execution, um, but it's also not very punishing in the way that maybe your Bloodborne is. I'm not sure if you played that set of the games, but. You definitely can pick it up and enjoy it pretty quickly. Of course, it got style too. Like that actually helps a lot, and especially if you're, if you're interested in like the uh, base content or the base material. That's the way I'm looking for. Overall, I would definitely recommend it to pretty much anybody. It's worth trying, and you're gonna hear a lot about it if you're hearing conversations about game of the year stuff. Boy, that guy has some really good eyes. I guess that's why he's a sniper. Oh, definitely not. Like, you can go in here straight blind. You might even be better off by having not played a Souls game before. Well, I guess, my, like, you know, like I said, the execution is very different. Nice grab, bud. I think I've created the scenario I want now. For sure. Thanks. Oh, 
Well, you know what I deserved. Oh no, you're fine. Go to. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, you gotta be careful sometimes. Like games can be crap, but this game has levels to it, and you'll want to run th run through it more than once. As long as you have the patience to prove, they'll keep rewarding you. Yeah, there are. That's what I'm hearing. You know? And that makes me super sad. Actually, it makes me pretty happy because I know I'm going to play this game multiple times. I wish it was. I mean, at the end of the day, this is... Oh my gosh. This is what this game is. It's a... Goldarn rhythm game in many ways. Oh. Guess he found me. I think Vale has the moves. It's gonna give us some space, let this thing happen. He sees me. Oh, Space Shell 5 was so good. Oh, and thank you for the follow, go to. Really appreciate it. Join the friendship train. You're so cool. Thank you. Feel free to hang out, do whatever, watch me play this game poorly. Nope. Okay, so what do we got? Healing Gord. I like can parry bullets. I just say something to me? I thought I heard a weird voice. Oh man, we are, we are helmets and swords. No, hey, get out of the poison. Okay, scouts on it. We're gonna just do a little scouting ahead to see what's here, then I'll stop bugging you guys. <laughs> Okay, so what's out here? Battle. Should have probably. Where are you? <coughs> Another ape. <laughs> Dogs understand this. It's 
it's a uh, it says monkey 2.0 huh The bunch of banana shinobi tool. Well, unfortunately, it's been two hours of this game, so that means is that the stream is over, basically, except for one important thing. We need to raid. No, not this. <laughs> oh, come on, get killed by the monkey. <laughs> See, we went on a W. That's how we like to roll, right? We gotta come back with a cliffhanger so you guys check back in. Of course, we'll be playing this game again on Monday. Yeah, Ren, great timing. Of course, Fail. Thank you for hanging out. Um, but yeah, like, obviously, there's only one person we should stream. And that's Mr. JRPG playing Trails of Cold Steel, so I can't hang out for too long, but it's all good. But yeah, you guys, thank you, of course, for hanging out. I mean, it's been a real pleasure today. It's great having a crowd to enjoy Trails and Sekiro. Um, of course, like I said, Monday we're back. There's the new Discord available. Just a good old exclamation Discord in the chat. And yeah, come on hang out become a passenger i really appreciate the follows of course thank you for the resubscription juice the bit stardust and the host uh, kirito the subscription and um uh, and the follow from twt legend and a gift subscription still just balling out thank you i really appreciate it and citizen of course thank you for the thank you for the raid you guys are really kind to me yeah, I really appreciate it. You know, it's just really nice being able to all hang out. Um, see you guys in the Discord. Until then, enjoy Mr. JRPG and his fantastic stream. Great time, everybody.